Some mountains in men are bigger than you think. Some rivers so fast, hell, you can't take a drink. Some burden so heavy. Hey, folks. Now, I put out a video. This is the Great Northern Prepper, by the way. I put out a little video uh, a while back about my food pail woes. And what happened was this gamma seal lid had gotten uh, busted up. So I got a whole bucket full of chickpeas along with uh, some spices and dried vegetables to kind of, when I got to break it open, I'll at least be able to make a decent little soup out of it. But anyways, I can't use this anymore. So the problem is with uh, gamma seal lids is once they get on, they're extremely, extremely difficult to get out. So I'm gonna show you the steps on how to get a gamma seal lid off. Uh, this first step is going to be an obvious one. I'm not going to show it to you because it's kind of a, you know, whatever, waste of time. But I'm going to be pouring the contents out into another container so I can uh, go on to the second step. And uh, you'll join me at the second step. Okay, the second step is going to be putting your sink full of hot water. What's the, what this is going to do is is it's going to loosen up the seal and uh, make the plastic more malleable. I shouldn't say it's going to loosen up the seal, but it's going to make the plastic more easily to deal with um, when we try to, or when we do whack it off with the hammer. So what I'm going to do is, if this gets warm enough here, is we're going to fill up the sink with warm water. You're going to put the uh, bucket in, you know, seal side down, and we're going to fill the sink up, and we're going to let it sit there for probably about, uh, this is going to rise, obviously, so you're actually going to need to put something uh, heavier on top of it to hold it down, and you can see there's just a little bit of chickpea stuff coming out of there, and what we're going to do is we're going to sit this in there for probably about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to need something a little bit heavier. Uh, something, uh, put it in there for about 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes. Let that get good and warm. And then we're going to take the rubber mallet to it next. And it's really tricky. And it's a real pain in the ass. And it takes a lot of work. Um, but uh, I'm a cheap guy, so I prefer to do this than, uh, than actually buy... Uh, another bucket and everything like that. So, um, anyways, we'll go on to step three. Now, since it's been getting close here to 15 minutes, what you're going to want to do is get a good, decent rubber mallet. This is one of the ones with the uh, softer and then the, the harder metal on there, or uh, plastic, I'm sorry, or rubber. You're not going to want to use a regular, um, regular metal steel hammer. Why? Because if you're banging on the plastic with that metal you're going to end up cracking both the bucket as well as the lip and the uh, or the lip of the bucket and uh, as well as uh, breaking up that uh, that seal so it kind of defeats the purpose of taking this whole thing off if you just destroy the bucket while you're getting the old gamma seal let off. So when I uh, grab that bucket out of that water and then we'll uh, we'll start working on it. All right. Now what you're going to want to do is take that hammer and start beating on the lip of this thing. Kind of work your way up around. It's kind of like when you do when you're putting it on there. When you're putting it on is you're actually slowly working it off. What I forgot to mention too was as you start to get it up and it's warm and pliable, I'll actually work it out just a little bit and then I'll whack it. 
That seems to work a little bit better, but it gets harder as you uh, as you uh, leave it out longer out of that warm water. basically just working it around two inches at a time and uh, we'll check back here in a little bit okay I don't know if you can see that but it's actually starting to come up around the lip I've actually put it back in the water about three times after about uh, six excuse me five to six minutes each time it takes to usually go around once then I put it back in the water warm it and do it as I started to see it Kind of uh, starting to ease up like I said I'd ease that lip out and it actually came almost just around the lip so I actually used a little bit of force and got it up around and over that and then I gave it a good whack and it slipped right off it's not quite ready She's starting to come off. Oh, okay. And now we have the gamma seal off of the freaking bucket. That was a, that was a, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> so this is actually this lid is actually still good, even though it got beat on. It'll still work to put it back on the bucket again, because even if there is a little bit of warping in here, the seal itself is on the inside, and I don't see any cracks or anything like that on the inside here. Um, so this will actually just get stored away. You never know. The inside lid is blue junk, but I'm sure I can find a use for it somehow. So now what I'm going to do is wash out this bucket, put the chickpeas back in, put the new uh, put the new gamma seal lid on top. I'll wash this out, let it dry, and then uh, yeah, and then I'll uh, I'll be good to go again. And you want to make sure after you do this, the reason that you don't want you want to warm it is because you don't want to break the bucket itself if you're trying to save the bucket if you don't care about the bucket then just leave the dang seal on use it for something else but uh, anyways this has been the great northern prepper and I hope you guys learned something let me know if you have any tips or tricks uh, that make this actually easier but this is the way that uh, I've had to do it a couple times since I've had a couple um, reasons to take the gamma seal lids off you can find us on Facebook YouTube or Twitter you can also email me at rmorgan at greatnorthernprepper.com. And thanks again, guys, for taking time out of your day to watch my video. And the Great Northern Prepper is out. I wore out my shoes in that wrong way to run. I blistered my skin working hard in the sun. Supper's almost over and I done cleaned my plate. And there's a light shining yonder, boys, I don't think I'll wait. I'm a laid back one and I've been one so long I ain't perfect, you can tell by my songs Brothers forgive me for all of my wrongs The good Lord he's calling and it's time to go home I hear him calling and it's time to go home